going to do a quick show on how to play almost any of the Half-Life maps. So Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Episode 2. Um, some of them will break. Usually the bigger maps, like the open maps, they will not work. They don't, just don't even try it. Um, but you can do most of the maps, right? And this will make, make it so the maps play better and have voices, have audio, you know, all those things. They can randomly crash sometimes. I mean, you can't really do anything about that. But yeah, so what you do is you open Portal RTX with properties, local files, and browse, right? So you should open the folder. Here's the folder, Portal RTX, right? Then you look for any Half-Life game you have. So like Half-Life uh, 2, for example. Right, right click it, properties, local files, browse, right? This will open. Okay. So, what you do with both of these, right, is you look here, which, whichever game you want. So, HL2 is Half Life 2, Episodic is Episode 1, and this one is Episode 2. So, any of these will work. Lost Ghost does not work. The background crashes, and the normal map will probably also crash. So, it's not even worth it. It's an open map, that's why it probably just breaks completely, right? Um, so, just for, for demonstration purposes, I'll do episode 2, right? So, you just copy it. So, you copy, right? And you paste in a portal RTX folder. Just that. We'll paste it. You can do this with Half-Life 2. Even if it asks you to replace, just do it. doesn't matter. Right? So, after that, you just do all that. You can close both folders. One thing, though, um, episode 2 has a problem that the background one will crash. So this one will crash. Uh, what I recommend is make a copy of background 2, right? Delete 1 and then name like the second copy background 1 because all of these work but not background 1. So keep that in mind. Or just find a way to not have the background open while the game is starting. Which I know there's a code but I just don't remember. So after that, just close both, game, both, both folders, right? You look for portal again, so portal to RTX, right? And here we just go to properties. Uh, this doesn't matter, don't worry about this. This is what matters, right? So here you'll type game, and then you type the game you want. So HL2 is Half Life 2, um, Episodic is Episode 1, and this is Episode 2, right? So just to show you, I'm going to put Episode 2, I'm going to start it. Um, and you'll, you'll see what happens, right? So it says it's opening Half Life 2, right? <clears throat> so, here it is. Episode 2 is open, right? Uh, to fix some of the maps that you'll like, they'll become invisible or some shit, right? You go to um, keyboard, turn on the console so advance enable developer console and then you toggle developer console select the key any key you want it doesn't matter you press f9 you go r underscore 3d sky zero so this is all you need right um it should work everything will work fine you can see the guy moving you can see the little rtx shadows right if it's really laggy for you um try putting custom dlss and ultra performance. Some of the textures will look very weird in Half-Life 2 at ultra performance, so be wary. And um, the blood, especially antlion blood, will cause the game to lag a lot if you kill them very up close. So if you find uh, a code to put in the console to turn off blood, I highly recommend that. Turn off enhanced assets and motion blur, it's your preference, right? Everything else you can leave as it is, right? If you don't like the fog, uh, you can just disable volumetric lighting, and it kind of takes a bit, right? Uh, you should probably go to the developer settings. Um, there's post-processing, and you can disable this. So this is completely disables the fog, right? So you can do that. Fog is not honestly the, the best thing in these games since the, it doesn't really know what to do, right? But I like, sometimes it looks nice, right? To show you it works, I'll load it save that I have here. So here it is. This is episode 2 save. After the Alex part, so everything is working fine. As you can see, he has shadows. 
Um, the game will have almost like kind of like a vertex explosions, almost. That's what it kind of looks like. Um, I'll show you that it's working fine. This, this this amazing part here. So you can see like you see the letters going all crazy, right? Um, but it all everything works. Here's the, here's these guys. Um, this they, they reflect the shadows work. Uh, this is really cool. It looks really nice. You see the colors popping a lot, right? And you see like they they also reflect it all. Um, the humans kind of look weird. They have the, 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 the weird uh, fucking eyes. They don't look bad. They look they look pretty nice. Um, this is one of the maps that. Actually, it doesn't look that bad, right? Weapons will be kind of broken. You can't really do anything about that. The SMG is fine, and I think the revolver is fine. Everything else is completely broken and keeps exploding textures. Um, I think the HUD is also a big problem, so if you can remove the HUD, you probably see less of these explosions, right? But everything kind of works. Um, the only thing that causes kind of like, uh, you know, the ray tracing shit is I guess, the energy ball because of portal and everything. This map looks particularly nice, so go test maps, see which ones work, see which ones doesn't. Pretty sure someone will be able to fix some of the maps. Some of them are just impossible to fix, you can't really do anything about it. Um, also, flashlight doesn't work. Uh, this happens. I don't think this is fixable, honestly, so you'll have to keep shooting to, to have some light. Uh, there's also the eye adaptation, so it kind of changes depending on where you look. But yeah, go see which maps work and have some fun with this. Uh, weird Half-Life 2 RTX monster right here. <laughs>